you have heard by now that uh, today uh, I did remove Chief Ben Farrow from his assignment as interim chief at the Oakland Police Department. Uh, based on information that I received Monday, uh, that became the appropriate decision for me to make today. Uh, the information that I received raised concerns for me about whether he can effectively lead this department at this particular moment in time and during this critical transition. Uh, as mayor, I need to have absolute confidence that the leader of this department can be 100% effective at leading cultural change based on the current allegations that we take extremely seriously. Uh, again, while I cannot discuss this personnel matter in any detail, uh, Chief Farrow is welcome to do that. And that is uh, all I have. I'm happy to take your questions. When did you become aware of this, and when did you notify them you'd be removing them? Uh, I became aware of this information on Monday. Uh, I raised my concerns with him yesterday, uh, made my decision yesterday. Can you describe your background check process that you conducted on Mr. Farrell before you hired him? So again, I take responsibility for this information. I mean, for, I take responsibility for this decision. Uh, what, we, were, we wanted to provide seamless leadership for the department in light of Chief Wentz's very rapid resignation. And so we did move very quickly in bringing Chief Farrow uh, on loan into this position. Well, what was the background check process specifically? How did, how did you check into his past as a police officer in the Oakland Police Department? And how did that play into your decision to hire him? But the process specifically? The process was very rapid. We were intending to uh, create a seamless transition we called the chief into uh, our offices and gave him a brief series of interviews. Chief Farrow is someone who I have personally worked with for many years. He enjoys a very good reputation. And we were in the process of doing a more formal search, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a more formal background check process, uh, but that became unnecessary due to my decision yesterday. I am prohibited by state law from discussing personnel matters. Did you look in the OPD internal affairs file before bringing him on? Did you have the answers or did you document their case numbers? I am prohibited by law from discussing personnel matters. What does this say about confidence in you that you made this decision too quickly to admit? You've had to fire him four days later. This is an organization that simply cannot keep a chief in place as history shows, what do you have to say to the public that whoever you're putting in place now is the right person? So I own the mistake I made, and the important thing is that I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it quickly, and I'm not trying to hide or not disclose what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Moving forward, uh, on a temporary basis, uh, the assistant chief, Figueroa, will serve as acting chief while we do a more appropriate search to identify an interim chief who will serve while we conduct a national search. 